Let's open the previous example, copy all the files and create a new example, 25JSTL. In 25JSTL, we want some modification as we talked about it in previous lecture that we are going to use a JSTL tag URL. So let's uh, see how the JSTL tag works. Let's open the 25JSTL and then the index.jsp we just want to replace it by the new tag jstl tag url so before that i just want to i want to show you that without encoding what happens we already know that but uh, i just want to show you one dot jsp right now once again in one dot jsp i deleted deleted this step and uh, just type the actual original URL 2.jsp don't forget that we disabled the cookies at client side and we know that what will happen 3.jsp so right now I rolled back I didn't perform any encoding URL process I'm just trying to show you if at the client side the cookies are disabled then you won't be able to try the session properly and each time when you uh, send a fresh new request a new session will be created a new session ID will be generated and in the response pages you will because we are showing this uh, session ID you will uh, see different session IDs uh, each time we click over the link and navigate to some next page now let's run this example 25 JS tail but before uh, we run this example uh, I want to show you that cookies are disabled so click over the settings and scroll down click over the advanced and there is privacy security and site settings inside set setting cookies and you can see that the cookies are blocked now I'm clo uh, just close this tab and uh, control shift to delete we want to delete all the data saved so far and uh, want to perform this uh, task once again just uh, zoom and first we want to access 25 jstl slash index dot jsp so this is your first response index to index page and you can see that the ff1e is the session id the session id is uh, that long but i'm just talking about the first four character uh, last four characters and uh, let's uh, uh, just mouse over this link because we didn't perform any encoding you can see that in the bottom uh, left corner their uh, one dot gsp uh, navigation link is not encoded let's click over this link you can see that the session id is different because we are not able to maintain the session just click over it again and you can see that the session id is changed each time we request right this is the final page and um, we could not manage to uh, maintain the session so to uh, maintain the session last time we learned how to encode the URL but uh, we used scripting to achieve encoding now let's open the index.jsp page and because we are going to use the JSTL so let's insert the taglib directive insert the taglib directive in all the pages where we want to use this uh, new JSTL tag 2.jsp in 3.jsp there is no link and we do not want any encoding here uh, so now the time to use the CURL tag how the CURL tag works CURL in URL tag there is a value attribute and inside the value attribute I just specified the one dot JSTL JSP. the C URL tag uh, is simply works like uh, C out it simply returns uh, uh, or prints you can say a uh, prints uh, encoded URL so what we can do is just uh, use the C URL inside the href because C URL just works like uh, C out it encodes your URL at the same time it returns that encoded URL and prints into the response page and because you supplied this URL tag inside the href attribute so that the encoded URL will be supplied to href the, there is some problem in uh, uh, JSP or HTML you can write single quote so you can write single quote here now we are going to repeat this process in one dot JSP 
in one.jsp instead of writing two.jsp i just inserted c url tag and inside the value <coughs> inside the value i said uh, two.jsp and this time i am wrapping this two.jsp in a single quote because we are already in uh, sitting inside a double quotes right now once again we want to repeat this process let's go to 2.jsp and in the uh, hyperlink reference instead of supplying the 3.jsp url straight away we can just write the c url tag and just wrap it with a single code and the url was 3.jsp 3.jsp now so we are done with this uh, entire encoding work now let's try it again before doing that i just want to show that uh, see this symbol tool tips showing that this page was prevented from setting cookies because the cookies are disabled in this browser here just delete all the data click uh, just close the tab and start with this example once again index.jsp open this tag open this page and you can see that we are able to uh, show the session id but will we be able to maintain the session because as we know that we encoded the url let's uh, try to check the page source click over it and you can see that yes our url is encoded but this time we use some different technique and we are successfully encoded the link just click over the link and you can see that we are able to maintain the session fsc2 just click over the link fsc2 this time we are visiting two page and just click over the link and you can uh, you are now visiting the three page and fsc2 the, you are able to maintain the session right so this tag is a replacement to the scriptlet using that scriptlet you are just dumping your java code inside the jsp and using the jstl you are avoiding to write uh, any more J java code you are just using simple tags right so the c url tag is helping us to encode the url at the same time it is printing it uh, into the href attribute and uh, at the time of page building this entire process is performed and this way this url encoded url is published into the href attribute and such response is sent to the client and sent is able to navigate and uh, also at the same time able to maintain the session and we will discuss the other attributes as well in the next video uh, till then bye bye